I access health information for minor health complaints like eczema and things like that. So I do try and avoid the GP, so I try and go to the pharmacy quite a lot. Um, but I find that it's just limit, too limited information and everybody sends me to the GP which I'm trying to avoid. So if I go online it always set, it gives me a, a, a small amount of information but it always then says if you need more go to your GP, pharmacist go to your GP. So I feel very limited in terms of what I can access personally and then people say avoid what's online because it might not be accurate even though it's on the NHS website. So yeah I feel quite frustrated that there's a limited amount. It gives you that boost that you're on the right wavelength, which is good, which is what you need, I think, as an initial point of contact. Because you don't want to bother the GP if they're just going to say, don't worry about it, you know, you can access maybe alternative therapies or herbal therapies or you don't necessarily have to go down the medication prescription route. So it's, it's good in that sense. It's good that it's there that you've got that option and then you can mull it over and make your own informed decision. But ultimately, I feel like you're going to have to end up at the GP at some point. It doesn't refer you on to something that your GP, so it doesn't miss out the GP, it doesn't say you can go here or say you've got a back complaint. I remember having whiplash once I had to go to the GP to get a referral to the physiotherapist, which online maybe I could have missed out the GP and gone myself because it's not necessarily a, a health complaint, it's something that maybe I could access and therefore don't have to bother kind of the normal route. So there isn't that which I think would be useful. I suppose maybe an eligibility check, so obviously if the people had more serious things there, there is other options, but if it was something like me for example, I've been in a car crash, had a slight amount of whiplash, it wasn't going away so I was leaving it about 6 weeks, 8 weeks, and so if it was online for me it could kind of give me maybe 5 or 6 options to say if this is you, ring your, ring your uh, local physio or book an appointment and then they could do maybe a triage over the phone to make sure that, that you are going around, down the right path and then I could do that rather than either go to A&E or GP or, or other of those services that are over for